Lo Yahweh, by Hashem Yahushua, by Hashem Kadosh. That's who this world ignorantly called God and Jesus Christ, and the Holy Spirit, and the faith of ancient Hebrew told. Double honors to all the elders and apostles across the four corners of the earth, pushing his truth and sincerity. Shout out to the Israelites, it's like a speckled bird, looking like the heathen, causing confusion. Shout out to the brothers that's pushing his truth and sincerity as well. And a very few Aquaf that believe. And shout out to y'all that believe in our testimony through the Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah. So y'all we like to say Shalom. We come out here to prophesy the downfall of America once again, man. That's right. Yeah, man, we back out, man. <laughs> we back out, man. Yeah, so, you know, we uh, out here prophesying like we usually do, man. Hopefully we have a good day, man. You know, it's been a while since we've been back out on the street. But we back out, man. Uh, but we're we going to get it. Yeah, we're going to get into, uh, we're going to get into how, uh, we are in latter in times, man. Oh. And uh, Jake need Jake need to convert to these scriptures, man. Yeah. We all we only out here for Jake, really. You know what I'm saying? And Zion got a fallen suit behind Jake. You know what I'm saying? Because Zion just this this, this society pushed that Zion could be by herself and be be overcome. You see, they got the they got the uh, woman is king movie coming out. That BS, you know what I'm saying? That, that that's madness. What woman you know gonna be the man of war? Not one. Come on, man. You can see a pimp handle these women better than Esau. You know what I'm saying? That, actually, that's how these women supposed to be in order. How these pimps got? It's a lot. Forgive me, <laughs> but hey, that's facts, man. It's facts. If a woman get out of line, what the pimp do? You know what I mean? That's facts, man. But hey, these women are held to a certain standard in this society to the point to where that they don't believe that they're on the same level as Jake. And then when they ain't on the same level as Jake, they think like, oh, you niggas ain't shit. I make more than you. Okay, but that same nigga, that same nigga you saying ain't shit, can be that same person that help you when Esau brushing your home, man. Esau rushing your home, man. Or when Jake rushing your home. You women keep forgetting, man. Y'all independent women, y'all keep forgetting that. Y'all need a man to protect y'all, man. In these latter days. Because in these latter days, man, the Lord about to let some shit loose, man. Oh, you see how he, uh, you see how the Lord, you look on these social medias, you see how the Lord got all these deformed people coming out now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hey, they deformed more than ever now, hey. They're gonna be scaring the shit out of Jake in the latter days. Motherfucker <laughs> 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 went up on Jake, whole body bigger than another. Hey, help me. They gonna be like, hell no, nah, man, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Real talk, man. The Lord gonna have some strange things walking around here, man. Real man, whoever has some strange things coming out here, man. This place gotta go, man. Give me Apple Food One and Four. Y'all, you got a preset? Oh, God, God, you can bring that out there. Yeah, this is the book of Isaiah, chapter three and verse twelve. Out. As for my people, children are their oppressors, and women rule over them. You know, and, and this is going into like the head was saying about the, the mindset of women here in America, man. They have put they have placed themselves over the man. You know? The, the women thinking they wear the pants in a relationship, man. You know? The man has the man is not allowed to have testicles anymore, man. He's not allowed to speak up, correct, correct this woman, put her in her place. You know, you wouldn't think y'all supposed to be able to get abroad and, and, and live your best life during the hot summer, man. You know? right. But that's completely uh, against the scriptures. As it says again, I'm going to read it. Isaiah 3 and 12. As for my people, children are their oppressors, and women rule over them. Right. Oh, my people, they which lead thee, cause thee to err, 
and destroy the way of thy past, man. So this whole, you know, the, the women, like you said, the name of that movie, Woman is King, uh. that whole mentality, you know, um, America is even spiritually represented as a woman because that's who you guys really worship. The woman is, is, is in control and leading the men, you know? What? Is that not a fact here? And like the scripture said, they caused thee to err, man. That's completely against nature. That's completely against the laws of the Lord. And it's going to get you destroyed, man. The woman, right. like the scriptures say, is deprived of wisdom, man. Right. You know, so if you're falling behind a woman, you know, she's telling you what you can and can't do, and you're listening to her, you're a beta male, man. A simp. A, a bitch-ass nigga. You know? Hey, huh? It's the liking for the, for the language, man. But that's the, that's the fact of the matter, you know? And, and then that, that, that children, uh... Uh, children who are over them is twofold, man. That's going in the children of uh, that that Jake have today and the Esau. The children of basement, bro. They, they, the children, the children rule over us, bro. They are the basement of children, man. You know? Y'all, y'all are not the standard of the world, man. Y'all are not the gift of the world, man. Y'all the curse of the world, man. That's right. Understand that, man. That's why nothing is brought but death and destruction, man. From y'all, bro. Nothing y'all did was right. Nothing y'all did was right. And then what kills me is Jake won Trump in office because he gave out a stimulus check. Man, that, that don't mean that man ain't a devil. So we're warning about a $1,200 check, bro. Bro, you pay rent, go get something to eat or so. It's over, bro. And you niggas warning over that, bro. Meanwhile, the woman getting government assistance, housing, uh -oh, through the government assistance, she getting housing, food stamps, uh, uh, WIC, all this other stuff. And then turn around and tell you you can't be here. Oh, they finna, they they gotta check up every month. You can't be here. You women is content with that? With this system running up in your house, going everywhere, looking everywhere, making sure ain't no man there, bro. That bro, that that don't you think that's a setup, bro? Just think if you had a man there working and you helping him, you won't even need that assistance, bro. Especially if y'all was together trusting in y'all about some y'all was shot. Right. But the women love to have the system behind them. Why? To tame Jake. Because when the woman get out of line on Jake, and then Jake blow up, oh, they get scared then. They get scared then. They got to have a system. They got to have a system behind Jake. Behind them, I mean, it's a lot. And that's that that that's what that's what this system this system is only built for Edomite, but it but for our side, it's only built for the so-called black woman Zion, the nigga woman. It's only built for them to what? Keep oppressing Jake. We need child support is. That woman can go down there and say anything, even take care of your kids forever. And they just gonna listen to the woman, bro. Why? Because it's designed to fuck up what? Jake, bro. Right. And if you take down the man of the nation, what did you do? You conquered the nation, man. Right. Lock. You got something else? Yeah. Therefore, the law is slack and judgment. Land, man, why? 
This land was built off wickedness, man. You know? This land was built off wickedness, man. And, 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 and Esau is going to let it go on. Especially, especially if Jake, Jake getting slaughtered. Man, y'all don't even run. I don't think y'all y'all followers and uh, Israel in this world realize how many Israelites are dying monthly, bro. Uh, dying monthly, bro. It's a rapid rate, bro. Right. It's a rapid rate, bro. We are dropping like flies monthly, man. Monthly, bro. And it's not funny. And then y'all sit up here and still go out and have fun, bro. Go out and have fun like, hey, it ain't happening to us. Jake don't care about his own nation, man. Jake loved Esau before he loved his own nation, man. That's right. And that's insane, man. Go ahead, keep reading, bro. Behold, ye among the heathen and regard, and wonder marvelously, for I will work a work in your days which ye will not believe, though it be told you. You see that? It's told us that the Lord gonna work for us, man. But Jake can't believe it, man. Jake can sit up here and believe X Men to the fullest. But the Bible tell you, I'm gonna raise up Jake and be righteous. He gonna take down Esau. Jake say, man, that ain't real, man. And then, then, why, why would we ever want to overcome the white man? Why can't they be equal like us? Right. Like, like Jake. This, this is the state of Jake, bro. Jake is fucking done. Anytime Jake think he can be better than the angels is fucking done. <laughs> Anytime Jake think he is more awesome than anything in the world, he's fucking done, bro. Anytime Jake think he can take Esau down with an AK and a half a clip, he's done. Anytime Jake got all these guns, think he gonna do something to Esau, you're fucking done, bro. You're done, bro. You're done. You're not beating Esau, man. Not beating this man, man. The Lord said, the Lord told us how we gonna overcome, bro. And that's through the scriptures, man. But the only ones that believe that is the elect, man. Right. They elect the chosen few, man. What? I got a preset. Oh, I got it. Right this is Romans chapter three and verse three. Check it out. For what if some did not believe? So their unbelief make the faith of God without effect. Yahweh forbid. Yet let Yahweh be true, but every man a liar, as it is written, that thou mightest be justified in thy saying, and mightest overcome when thou art judged. So just because you got niggas that you know can't get the truth and can't understand it, it's not gonna change the prophecy, man. The yeah. words, the words of the Lord are still gonna be done, they're gonna be made manifest. You know, yeah. we don't we're not up here to, to convince y'all of anything, man. You know, truly like the head said, man, the elect are gonna be the ones to only receive it anyway. So that's what we really out here for, man, to teach the truth and you know and, and knowing that y'all are not gonna agree, man. Knowing that y'all just can't get it, you know. Hey, somebody, it's a lot. Somebody says something to me last week talking about some, how you making them convert? I ain't making nobody convert, man. That's right. I tell niggas, you ain't got to believe nothing I say. Yeah, that's right. You ain't got to believe nothing I say. It's the spirit that makes you convert, man. It's the spirit of you. I was shot that makes you convert, man. That's right. And that's what we looking for, man. Man, hey. You think I put a gun in these brothers' head and told them to believe what I believe? These brothers got a chance to walk away anytime they want, man. Anytime they want, but why ain't they? The Lord dealing with them, bro. The Lord dealing with them, bro. The Lord is dealing with them, bro. Like, it's not, it's not a man thing, bro. This is not man, bro. I, hey, listen, I'm a man, but hey. I was shot, bro. Them up killed me, bro. Oh, and some of them been woke up and met me, bro. Oh, you know what I'm saying? Like, bro, it's not, bro. Believe me, bro. I'm just the head, bro. And believe me, bro. I, I, listen, man. I'm not the best head, but I do the best I can, man. Do y'all by shimmy? I was shot with these brothers, man. 
Right. And I love these brothers, man. But listen, man, it's not me, bro. <laughs> it's not me, bro. It's not me that they believe in. It's not me that they believe in, bro. It's through your house shot through me that they through your house shot they believe through me, bro. Wow. Some of them seem to work, some of them have it's not me, bro. It's not me, bro. It's the Lord, man. It's the Lord, bro. And I don't care what nobody on the other side think, and I don't care what my family think. Fuck y'all. I think I'm a man of the Lord. Right. I feel that I'm a man of the Lord, bro. Right. And, and I feel like the Lord gonna always take care of me, man. Even if, even if, even if I'm not around brothers, bro. The Lord always take care of me, bro. I done been thousands of miles away. Couldn't have brother's help, bro. The Lord still take care of me, bro. I done been 600 miles away. I made a phone call to the brother, but shit, the Lord still held me down. Just like, hey, just like the time, bro, I, I was 600 miles away, bro. The Lord wouldn't even allow uh, the brother to cash my uh, money on it, bro. How things still get done. Somehow through a brother, bro. But that's the Lord, bro. It wasn't even a brother. It's the Lord, bro. Yeah, yeah. The Lord, bro. It's a lot. This is the book of John, chapter 15, starting at verse 4. It says, Abide in me, and I in you. As the branch cannot bear fruit of itself, except it abide in the vine. No more can ye, except ye abide in me. I am the vine, ye are the branches. He that abideth in me, and I in him, the same bringeth forth much fruit. For without me, ye can do nothing. So going into like what he's saying, man, this whole, the whole can't be in here. You know, it's not of our own will. That's only through the spirit of Yahweh Shai, man, that we're here and that we're in the in the, uh, in the truth and doing the will, man. It's only, as it said, for without me, ye can do nothing. You know, so yet on the outside, it may look like, you know, uh, we out here just to please man. You know, out here just to get views, all right, just to cut out the uh, heathen, man, and Jay. No, man, it's the spirit of Yahweh Shai coming back to the earth, man. Right and on. it's through that spirit that we're right, able to bro. prophesy the truth right, of the Bible, man. Right, bro. Right. Right, bro. Lord brought back his prophets, man. Right. And believe me, the prophets have followers. So how you uh, Negro like out there talking about I don't follow man? Don't make sense. Don't make sense, man. Well, man the Lord set all men up. Set his man up to have to have learning, bro. And to know and to know to follow him. And, and, and everybody fell in line, bro. Behind him and the men, bro. Everybody fell in line. Right. So how and, and then you you y'all out there talking about I don't follow man, y'all big off anyway. Y'all big off anyway. Y'all don't know the scriptures. Uh, 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 Paul said, uh, follow me as I follow Yahweh Shah. We're from paraphrasing now. Be ye a follower of me as I also am a follower of the Lord. You know? The apostle Paul said that. Was he going off? No, man. No. Yeah. No. Not theirs. 
see that to address the zealous places that are not theirs. Who been doing that? Who been rising up, dwelling, possessing the places that are not theirs, man? This devil. Right. This devil cannot sit at home. In his home wearing petrol eatle. <laughs> this man is on the four quarters, four parts of the earth. <laughs> <laughs> it originated in one part. Now you're on all four parts of the earth, man. This man has to go, man. Go ahead, brother. Verse 7. They are terrible and dreadful. They are what? They, they are, are terrible, terrible and dreadful. Don't you see that? Through the police system? How they blow down on Jake? Uh, how they blow down on a nigga woman? Don't you see that in the court system? Giving Jake 30 years when they own, give R. Kelly 30 years when they own raping babies, taking them to an island. They take it, they taking eight-year-olds to an island, man. Chilling with them. These R. Kelly had teenagers. We <laughs> used to add a period. That's all I can say. Man, through the scriptures, that was grown women. That was grown women. But y'all condemn this man and get this man 30 years through the feds and still got him going through the state. When, when the devils that was with Joe, with, with uh, Epstein got away, bro. Where are they cases? These guys gone, bro. They're, they're in the wind. You devils have to pay, man. Right. Y'all have to pay, man. Y'all have to fucking pay, man. Doing this man like this at Disney. You got Woody, what's the name? Woody Allen? Yeah, Woody, yeah, Woody, Woody, Allen. Woody Allen married married uh, his adopted child at the age of 10. That's tough. That's sick. God. And y'all arresting this man when them women was chilling?
The horses going into the power of their governments, man. And they should go everywhere, man. Esau is everywhere, man. You can't escape Esau, man. Uh, it, 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 this, this, is what I, this is what I, this is what I don't understand, and this is what I hate, man. These other, these, the Jake, uh, you got a Jake that'll sit up here and say, well, a Jake, his daddy a Jake, but his mama white. He'll sit up here and say, you black people are so lazy. Right. Y'all got all this opportunity. First of all, what opportunity? Right. What opportunity? First of all, our opportunity is 10 times harder than a so-called white person. Right. 10 times harder. 10 times harder than another heathen, bro. And then, once you accomplish that, once you accomplish that, uh, 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 once you graduate from college, nine, uh, seven times out of 10, Jake can't get a job when he graduated in. Uh-huh. And then, once Jake do that, Jake, Jake can go to the, uh, to the music industry, and make a couple, make a couple, make a couple thousand. And then they'll come to Jake like, look, you can't make nothing else unless you come cross over to us. So what opportunity do Jake have, man? Y'all, I'm, I'm tired of niggas up here talking about you black people are lazy and complaining. No, it ain't lazy and complaining. Jake is under witchcraft, man. Jake is under with Jake is gone, man. Jake don't have the mind state. And y'all sit up here and saying, y'all in the land of opportunity. Man, fuck out of here, man. This ain't no land of opportunity for Jake, man. This is, this is a cursed land for Jake, man. This is a land of curse for Jake, bro. Jake cannot come up here, bro. And if Jake do come up here, he sold his soul. He definitely sold his soul. that nonsense man y'all got the same opportunity you know the fuck we don't if we got the same opportunity why they why they bomb Tulsa, alabama why they bomb black wall street why they bomb seneca park why they flush that why they flush that whole town into a lake if we got the same opportunity why did these events happen because yeah. because during these events jake was doing what coming up more than Esau. So, if we got the same, if we got the same, damn, we got the same, we got the same, we got the same opportunity, why did these events happen, bro? I demise y'all. <laughs> <laughs> Inside joke. Because Esau, Esau still got their woman in the house finding out 
how they can finesse without paying taxes. And you know, Esau is really telling people you don't have to pay taxes. You just not educated in money. If you were educated and know how money was, you don't have to pay taxes. Why? Because these billionaires not doing it. The Trump. Nah, bro, they're not doing it. Right. Why? Verse 2, to turn aside the needy from judgment. And uh, so they really turn aside the ones who really need help from, from getting help, man. That's right. They, they yeah. helping those who are already in, in high positions. People who don't need the money. That's just extra spending money. They're going to figure out, okay, I got extra money. Let's set up another prison over here to round up uh, some uh, niggas, man. Uh, you know? That's really what they're doing. They're not helping the needy. Yeah. And to take away the right from the poor of my people. Exactly. So this is all being done against the Lord's people, man. He, he's right. all out here getting rich off of uh, fucking up Jake, man. You know? Right. Like I said, the, the jail, uh, these jobs, you know, you working uh, all your life, really, to have some type of money, and you turn around, you, you can't even save the money that you're getting, man. Right. And, and the money that is saved, you know, you really can't even spend it because by the time you get up to a, a high level, guess what? They're going to find something to, you, you, done, you done did something that, that when it gets them, so guess what? They're about to defame you. You know, lock the money down, probably lock your ass up. Like you said earlier, the R. Kelly situation, man. Yeah, demonize, thank you. That's, that's the way they say I was going around, man. They demonize Jake once you do start to try to make money so they can figure out how to get it from you. Like they said about uh, Michael Jackson, man. They said all that money Michael Jackson made that he was broke before he died, man. That's what I, I don't even believe that. Gun. Right. Well, that's what I'm saying. They, yeah, gun, they, gun. they uh, defame you, you know, and try to try to slam you and say uh, all types of things against what the truth is. That uh, for Michael Jackson's case, he really owned, he was about to even own Sony, man. And they said by the time he died that he was bankrupt. You know, that he was broke. Put it out. Put it's the book of Haggai, chapter 1, and verse 6. Ye have sold much, and bring in little. Ye eat, but ye have not enough. Ye drink, but ye are not filled with drink. Ye clothe you, but there is none warm. And he that earneth wages, Earning wages to put into a bag with holes. And that, and that, that's going into what the brother was saying. You can have these good jobs, you still stacking up money to, uh, in a bag with a hole in it. Why? Because you stack that money, man. That money gone. Whether a brother gonna need it or the bill Esau gonna want. He he's stacking up money with holes. You stacking up a bag with holes. Nigga, somebody get to that bag. Uh, they, right. the, the true brothers of the Lord know ain't no bag exists. Right. Ain't no no bag exists, especially if you sincere. Right. Don't no bag exists, man, amongst brothers. It don't exist, man. Why? Because yeah. we willing to give our all to brothers, bro. Right. And that's what the Lord told us to do, man. Like Peter said, man, what 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 won that Peter? And he said, how many times I must give to this brother, man? He said 77 more times, man. 77 more times, you better not touch that man if he owe you money. Right. Leave that man alone and keep giving. Right. Why? Because you are blessed to have this truth, man. Right. It's a lot, brother. Yeah, yeah, that's what I want. Starting verse 2 of Isaiah chapter 10. To turn aside the needy from judgment. And to take away the right from the poor of my people, that widows may be their prey, and that they may rob the fatherless. <laughs> the fatherless. And that's what this is doing. It's a lot. Robbing the fatherless. Single parent mother. <laughs> it's all set up to, to keep uh, our family divided, man. You know, and they talk shit about, you know, that's why you ain't got, that's why you don't know your daddy, Tyrone. You know, they, they make yeah. jokes shit about it because it, it's really a reality, man. It's yeah. part of the curses that the Lord said yeah. was going to be upon us, man. Uh, that's right, brother, that's right. That's right, brother. That's right. The 
that was basically it, man. Just showing, like I said, man, how Esau has been setting up these laws and legislation and orders and mandates and, and all types of shit just to, to keep Israel divided and confused, man. You know, right. trying to figure out, well, well, if I do this, invest in cryptocurrency, see, that's really where the bag at. No, Jay, once again, nah. you're done. Right? Nah. Once again, man, you know. And now they switching over. Now they're going to start saying, guess what? And that's in, in the digital MOTB, man, you know, which will be uh, in place in your body, man. Contrary mm -hmm. to popular belief, man. That's where he thought about it to take his whole system. Man. Hey, you, you say so stupid, y'all ain't even keeping up with the time. You know what the real bag gonna be? Food and meat. Uh -huh. That's the real bag gonna be, eh? Yeah. Yeah. You stocked up with meat, take you be saying that shit like dope. Yeah. Real soon. Real yeah. soon, man. Yeah. Real soon. Real soon. Cause hey, these people don't believe we wearing out of food, man. Right. They don't believe, bro. Like, like I told the brothers one day, bro. Y'all see that corn? You, you see them trips out going real low? Hey, that's the cornfields, man. Yeah. Everything is made out of cornfields, bro. Not at least ninety percent of shit outside of meat. It's made out of cornfields, bro. So what that means? If Esau paid these farmers to cut these cornfields, it's over, man. It's fucking over, man. It's over, man. And then farmers that 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 they got the meat saying, what they say, uh, in in the, in the next year, meat could be fifty dollars a pound. That's right, bro. Fifty dollars a pound, can you imagine that? Right. And you got four, five kids? Right. Can you imagine that? Yeah. Bro, y'all, y'all, I don't think. Bro, you eat them mice, bro. Y'all, yeah, I, I can't wait to shit get popping. Uh, uh. Cause uh, Jay gonna son, hey, Israel gonna be hurt. But you eat them, you eat them mice, yeah, y'all gonna be hurt, but y'all gonna be able to survive, most of y'all. Because y'all got it. They gonna die off, man. They gonna die off or click clack with the blicky. <laughs> they come and get you. They come and get you. Whatever well, them rappers say, we coming to get you. And believe me, them 100 pound, them 150 pound Jakes soaking wet, so the AK bigger than them, they coming for you eat them ice, bro. They gonna come, bro. Best believe it, bro. That's facts, bro. They gonna come, bro. Why? Cause they kids hungry, man. Yeah, they kids hungry, bro. Oh, that's actually you know, They kids hungry, man. They kids right. hungry, bro. Yeah, and then, and then, and then they know. The, the Jake next to them ain't got shit. Yeah. So they know where they got to go. They know where they got to go, bro. They know where they got to go. They know where they got to go. And, and then in that day, in that day, the Lord gonna take care of his men. Right. Wait. Right. And what the brothers explaining, man, when when houses shall be ravished in that day, man, it's it's gonna be hyperinflation going on, man. Right. You know, and inflation, uh, the definition of it is to increase something by a large or excessive amount, man. Right. Now, when now when you got that, and then it's hyperinflation, yo, these prices for this shit is gonna be crazy, man. And this is what's gonna happen in that day. This is Second Edges, uh, uh chapter fifteen. And verse 19, a man shall have no pity among his neighbor, but shall destroy their houses with the sword and spoil their goods because of the lack of bread and for great tribulation, man. Right. Right, bro. Right. right. And that, hey, that's going to happen, man. That's right. right. That, that's why the Lord took, what, what's that, second edge? Second edge. That's why the Lord took second edge to talk about it. Well, edge period. An yeah. apocryphal period, bro. Yeah, yeah. Because the apocryphal whole future prophecy, bro. Right. Big future prophecy. Yeah, yeah. Big, big, big kind future prophecy. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's going to happen, bro. It's going to happen. Yeah. It's going to happen, man. These things that the Lord speak of, they may tarry, but wait for it. Yeah. Wait for it. Yeah. It's going to come to pass. It shall not come back for it. That's right. <laughs> Yeah. And another thing that y'all have to understand, man, is 
what Andrews is speaking right now, man, that's that's in the time of Jacob's trouble as well, man. That's right. And that's on the way, man. The niggas talking about Jacob's trouble ain't going to come. He crazy. Stupid. Stupid. Crazy. How else two-thirds going to suffer? Right. So he think, so he think two-thirds right. so two is going to have it all good? Right. Before the Lord come back? Hell no. Nigga, the Lord said even a righteously, even a righteous self be scarcely saved, bro. Uh. So that means they elect got a thin line of being saved, bro. Even they elect got a thin line of being saved, man. And that's, that's what the Lord is going to set up, man. Amongst his people, man. That's what the Lord is going to set up, man. He's going to set up righteous men, he's going to say. And then the majority of his people got to die. Got to die. Got to die. Got to die. I say it all day, every day. You niggas got to die. I got it for your music, for your face, for your stupidity. You niggas gotta die, man. You gotta die. You gotta die, man. You niggas gotta die. Zion got to go too. I'm talking about I done ran through 200 bodies. That's tough. Chase. Ran through 200 bodies before you 30? Bitch, you gotta die. You gotta die. Go ahead. Uh, this is uh, 2nd Ezra chapter 9 and verse 13. No. And therefore be not curious how the ungodly shall be punished and when. But inquire how the righteous shall be saved, whose world is, and for whom the world is created. Then right. I answered and said, I have said before, now you do speak. And I will speak it also hereafter, that there may be many more which perish than of them which shall be saved. That's like as a wave is greater than a drop. There should be there should be many more that should perish than that should be saved, man. Oh. What is Ezra's statement right there, man? So how in the hell Jesus Christ come to save everybody? Right. When that's stated in the Bible. And yes, that belongs to the Bible, you Christians. Right. Wicked motherfuckers. That's right. That belong in the Bible, man. That belong in the Bible. Yeah. 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 Big kind. Belong in the Bible, man. <laughs> Better believe it, man. Yeah, you fucking die. Shake the stone, bro. Yeah. That's why, hey. Go ahead, bro. You got uh, I'm talking about this. You got to speak that What you looking for? Go ahead, bring it out. Go ahead, bring it out. Oh, it's your birthday, Zechariah 13. You got that. Oh, all right. Yeah, good, man. Yeah, good, good. Right. Right. This is Zechariah going into two thirds. 13 to verse 7. It says, Awake, O sword, against my shepherd, and against the man that is my fellow, says Yahweh, of hope. Smite the shepherd, and the sheep shall be scattered. And I will turn my hand upon the little one. Going into verse 8. You see that? Smite the shepherd and the sheep. That's what he's scattered. And the sheep shall be scattered. And I shall turn my hand upon the little one. What does that mean, man? You Christians, what does that mean? If everybody, Lord Jesus Christ, love everybody. What does that mean? His hand shall be turned upon the little ones. Who is the little ones? That's right. Who is the little ones, man? The little ones is the elect, man. Right. His hand shall not be upon his elect. Man, well, listen, man. I don't understand why you Christians think everybody going to be saved and the Lord just skip his elect. You think, you, you, think, you think the Lord going to sit right here and, and, and dis, dismiss man? Men that's going through hell living by his word, man. Keeping his commandments. Out here prophesying. Teaching. Prophesying. Going through hell 
And then be like, all oh, you churches, come on. You fucking sick. Because you churches believe y'all can do anything, man. But the man of the Lord don't, man. The man of the Lord don't, man. So what does that mean, man? You Christians going to pay. But you Christians are in a strong delusion. And y'all going to be put to death. Man. Point of period. Now, I don't care. I don't care if you see your son up here. Nah. 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 I don't care if you see your nephews up here. You Christians are going to be put in back. They can't, bro. Go ahead. Continuing on. Zechariah 13, verse 8. And it shall come to pass. That in the all that in all the land, says Jehovah, two parts therein shall be cut off and die. By the third shall be left therein. But the third shall be left therein, man. That two thirds, that two thirds being cut off and dying is talking about the two thirds of the nation of Israel, man. What what we like to say boldly, y'all are gonna die here in America, man. And wherever else y'all are scattered, man. It's already been prophesied. So like you say, it don't matter if you see, you know, your your son, your children. Yeah, your nephew up here prophesying, that's not going to save you, man. You know, because you're not changing. You, you see the word, you hear it. Like the scripture say, they sit, they come unto you and sit as thou is playing a very lovely song, but but they they basically do it not from fair praise. That's the spirit that y'all have, and that's why y'all are allotted uh, or given the title of the two thirds, man. That great judgment of when the Lord sends the house of Israel, man. You know, and all that's going to be remaining, as I said, that third part. That's all about the elect, man. Starting with the 144,000 chief men, and then the rest of the men, women, and children that same that follow and believe the same gospel, man. Yeah. yeah. And I will bring the third part through the fire, and will refine them as silver is refined, and will try them as gold is tried. They shall call on my name, and I will hear them. I will say, it is my people, and they shall say. The Lord, Yahweh, that power is my God. That's right. And that's talking about the elect, man. Only the elect of Yahweh, Hashem, Yahweh, are going to believe this gospel and call on the name of the Lord, man. You know, and be saved. Only the elect. You know, because nobody else is doing that latter half, man. Calling on his name. What is his name? You Christians can't even tell us, man. Right. Y'all spent all these years in the in the church, in the trap house. Yahweh. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, y'all come out with a whole bunch of followers. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, uh, uh, Jehovah, you know, right. Jesus Christ. Hey, Jesus is Jesus. Exactly. Yeah. And they got that from, from the back house, man. Done. Hey, and, and yeah. that's that's the crack that they got y'all hooked on, man. The name of Jesus, man. Name of Jesus. And literally, it, it's stuck, up, it's spoken in your mind so bad through witchcraft, y'all can't even see the truth. Coming from the same book that you claim to believe in. Right. That's good. What, what kind of foolishness is that, man? Good. Because if you if you actually knew the book and see through the book, you would realize Jesus ain't his name. Right. It can be. Through the through the through the through, through some of the precepts in the Bible, you say, damn, well, why is he why this prophet saying this? Well it can't be Jesus. Yeah, nah, it can't be, bro. Right. So, so at, at this point, it really it shows that the, the two-thirds of Israel, they, they're not going to get it. For what? Because the Lord set it up that way. But uh -huh. for two, because of uh, Babylon's Jews, man, these philosophers, uh -huh. these, uh, all these religions and, and different types of doctrines you can just follow, and even the communities that you can live in. You can't even take your kids to school while them getting told they got to come dress up as the opposite sex, man. You right. can't even raise your kids well, up in this land. That's insane, man. bro. Yeah. It's insane, bro. At, from a child, you know, the scriptures say, turn up a child while he's young in the way that he shall go. It's like, oh, he wanted to park, man. It's like, uh, it's like, it was a video. Jake, uh, Jake went up to the school and said, his son came home said they made him dress like a woman. He went up to that school going nuts, bro. Was he righteous for that? Yes, he was righteous for that, man. All right. You can't tell nobody kid to go dress like a woman, man. What the fuck is wrong with you devils, man? 
You can't make no, you that's somebody else's child, man. That's somebody else's baby that they raised out the womb. What gives you the authority to tell this man going to switch, tell this baby going to switch line? You have lost your motherfucking mind, man. Bro, it can't be mine. I'm going that bitch swinging. I'm going to jail. Hopefully y'all got my money from Jake. I'm going to jail. 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 I'm going to be honest with you. I'm going to jail. Jake already tired of Babylon. I'm going to jail. It's the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 14 and verse 33. For Yahweh is not the author of confusion. Right, man. So, so with y'all. Where that hell come? God, it's the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 14 and verse 33. Bring it out. For Yahweh is not the author of confusion, man. Ah. You know, so, so you, you Edomites tell these kids to dress up. And as women, as opposite sex, man, that is witchcraft and confusion. Right. right. You know? Right. He needs to be fucking put down. Nah. Yeah. Gotta be put to death. Put down. Gotta be put to death. You know? But, but as the elder always states, which is a true statement, Esau is a homo by nature, man. Nah. Yeah. Definitely is. Definitely is. And, and what you wear, it, it carries a vibration, man. What you wear can will alter your how you operate, how you walk, how you carry yourself, man. That's why, you know, uh, in the law, I'm about to get it real quick. Uh, I got you, let get it. You said not wear what you're saying to a woman. Deuteronomy 22. Uh, yeah. This is Deuteronomy 22, verse 5. You know. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment, for all that do so are an abomination unto you. How with that power? Okay. And this is a commandment in the in the Bible, man. So for one, it's in the law. Yeah, in the law. So for one, you Edomites are teaching contrary to the Bible, man. Contrary, and then for two, it's a sin because, like I said, that literally even by just what you wear, it, it has a vibration to it, man. You'll carry yourself based upon what you're wearing, you know. Oh, right. or, or let me say, what you're wearing shows what's inside of you, man. What type of spirit you have, man. Right. You know, you can look at a, a nigga and see his pants too tight. You know, uh, what's the matter? You see huh. Zion walking and, and you see she ain't got nothing covered up, cleavage all out. Nigga. You can tell what type of person they are by what they wear. Right? Nigga got his ass all out, damn uh, near his ding yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> right, right. Like, what the fuck, Jake? Niggas gotta go, man. Pants right. so tight, Jay can't even jump in the air. Right. Jay can't run. Pants yeah. so damn tight. Right. Kevin Gates. Right. Right. Yeah. Uh, that, that nigga got <laughs> definitely die. Right. Now, I, I was gonna pray that that nigga die every day. Talking about how I actually be this, this dimension to be better than an angel. He right. definitely got to die. That's right. Man, you could never be better than your Howard by seeing your Howard shy angels, man. You ain't even, you ain't matter of fact, not even his angels, you ain't even touching his elect. Uh -huh. like, you out here lost. So claiming you a Muslim, but got Nighthawk angels, Indian angels, got Nighthawk feathers from an Indian in your head. But you a Muslim. Man, you a fucking gun, nigga. Oh, no. Fucking gun, nigga. Fuck out of here, man. I'm tired of nigga. I'm tired of Israel playing with the Lord, period, bro. Right. I'm just tired of Israel playing with the Lord, period, bro. And then the Lord is showing you, he's giving you access to what he can do. Look on TikTok, all these deformed niggas. He's showing you what he can do to people, man. Fucking insane, man. Bro, it, it, bro that, that's why I listen, man. You motherfuckers think we living in fear because we don't want to travel? You lost your motherfucking mind, nigga. Uh, nigga, we don't want shit in Babylon. Uh, we don't want to travel, nigga. We don't. We want to go. Uh, we want to leave this place, nigga. We don't want to travel. I don't want no house. 
I don't want shit, bro. Uh. I want shit. I get banned, nigga, I'm going to take care of the camp, and nigga, my family going to be good, and nigga, I'm going to make sure the kids have a good time here. The kids. That's it. Me? No, I don't give a fuck, bro. I don't give a fuck, bro. I ain't, ain't, bro. Fuck this place, man. Uh. Fuck this place. What place do this... What the fuck do this place got to offer, Jake, man? Yeah. Niggas want to go sightseeing. What What? Do I, what are you, you going to see? What are you going to see, Jake? What are you going to see, man? What are you going to see, man? Niggas ain't, man, niggas ain't worried about this place, man. Right. This is a fucking burning house, bro. This is a fucking burning house, man. Place gotta go, man. Right. The book of Michael, chapter 2, and verse 10. Arise ye and depart, for this place is not your rest. Because it is polluted, it shall destroy you with the sword of destruction. God. So, man, listen, man, this place ain't our place to rest, man. Just because Jake don't want to do nothing, don't mean Jake is scared, bro. Jake don't want to do nothing because. Jake has that spirit in him. But man, listen, let me tell you something, bro. Let me, let me explain something to you about this truth, man. When you get in this truth, man, and you get deep, deep into this truth, you're not going to want to explore Babylon no more, bro. Right. Niggas who still want to, y'all still in this world, bro. Right. You're still in this world, bro. You got a piece of you still in this world. When you get deep in this truth, you're gonna be like, man, fuck all this place, bro. I don't wanna discover nothing. I don't wanna discover shit, bro. I wanna fucking rule. Right. Oh. I wanna fucking rule. I don't want I don't wanna see no more of this place, bro. I wanna rule. That's that's the state, that's the state I'm in, nigga. That's the state I'm in, nigga. That's the state Jake in, bro. Jake, Jake in the state of ready to rule. Jake ain't in the state of Oh, let's go see Las Vegas. Now, 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 if brothers come together and nigga, we come together and get some men, of course. Okay, let's go. Let's as a as a body, let's go have fun one time. I can understand that. But far as niggas just by themselves doing shit, nigga, no. Bro. This bitch done. This bitch done, bro. But far as a body us having fun, of course I'll do that with the brothers. We went to brothers, we all together. Why? You know why? Because if anything happens, we still together. Ah, we still together, nigga. Point like period. But far as like niggas by themselves doing shit, nigga, no. I don't wanna do it. I'm cool. Now, I don't even wanna do it if the brothers want to, but if the brothers want to, I'ma do it. Cause it's the brothers, bro. It's the brothers, bro. Shit. I don't give a damn about the woman. Shit, the woman been crying, complaining. Take that motherfucker to the dirty beach up the road. Call it a day. Shit, call it a day. Yeah, look, I took you somewhere. Yeah, there, there, there you go. Call it a day. Shit. Come on, man. I got something. Go ahead, brother. This is Book of Revelation, chapter eighteen and verse four. It says, and I heard another voice from heaven saying. Come out of her, my people, that God. you do not partake of her sins, God. and that you receive not of her place. God. So that's the spirit that you're supposed to have in this truth. Exactly, bro. Coming out of her. And that's talking about spiritually, man. God. You gotta completely and detach. Mentally. Yeah, and, yeah. You gotta God. completely detach yourself from this world, man. You know? God, and, and, and the, the brother got a beautiful precept upon this. And it's it's beautiful, like I said, when you get to a level in the truth and you don't wanna be a part. You don't even want to live here, man. Yeah, right. Just that alone, let alone then putting on the spirit, the mentality of rulership, man. Yeah. You know, because Jake's here, the vibration of America, y'all ready to serve, man. Right. I gotta go. I'm ready to go get the bag. Like I said, I gotta get the money. I'm ready to get the bag. I gotta get these days. I gotta get the grill. I gotta uh, get I want to go vacation over here, over yeah, there. Gotta, yeah, I don't know. Nigga, no. That spirit dead, dead, bro. The spirit ain't dealing with you, bro. Right. If you really, if you still want to explore this place, bro, the spirit of the Lord ain't dealing with you. Right. You supposed to be in, we, we in the last prophecy. 
you supposed to be in the spirit of ready to rule, bro. You supposed to be in the spirit of ready to put these devils in chains. Right, right. You supposed to be in the spirit of having these scriptures rooted in your heart, bro. Like, nigga, the Lord told me I was going to put my neck, my hands around your neck, nigga. Right. That's what I'm ready to do. That's what I'm ready right. to do, nigga. Right. That's what I'm ready to do, man. Ain't nobody ready to go see Hawaii. Fuck that shit, nigga. God. They're living in fear. I'll show you fear, nigga. God. You show niggas fear. You show niggas fear. The Lord gon' show niggas fear. He gon' show niggas fear on the damn rap. And it's uh, Romans 12 and 2. And be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. So when you come into this truth, man, you know what I'm saying? You're not worried about the world no more, man. Oh, hey, yo, wow. you, you've gotten past that now, because yeah. you understand what the world is now. See? Right, bro. Right. You understand this is a place of oppression, bro. Right. Like, you, you, nigga, I know, I've been in truth this long, bro. I know in my heart, bro, I don't give a fuck about this place. Yeah. I don't want to see shit. I don't want to go to, if I, the only place if I want to go and see my sons where they at, and that's it, bro, and I'm coming back home. Other than that, bro, the woman begged me about something. Yeah, we can go somewhere, but I'm not going far. Going blank period, because why? I don't want to be away from the body. Why? Because I fucking believe in the body. Like the Lord says, nigga, the body is everything, nigga. We are everything amongst each other, nigga. And you got to believe that shit. If you don't believe that shit, then that's on you, nigga. You got to believe that shit, bro. The Lord works through the body, nigga. He works through the body, bro. Uh, uh. And I'm not motherfucking sitting up here. I'm not finna travel down. Yeah, now yeah, nah, I may have to go by myself to go see my son. But hey, that's me, bro. If niggas wanna come, they can come. They can, they can find ways to come. If not, here's what it is. I just had to have faith in your house by showing you I was shot. But that's the faith that I have. That's the faith that I have that never been taken away. But I have faith, I have faith that the Lord take me 600 miles away, bro. And, and, and motherfucking shit and go down. And nigga, I believe I'll come back and be safe, bro. I believe that, bro. I believe that. Why? Because I truly believe that I am a, that I am a man of the Lord through what he put me through. Through what he put me through. Not just because I believe. Through what he put me through, bro. Through the faith that I had, bro. I had to have a mustard seed of faith in a situation where I knew I was stupid. Uh. I knew I was stupid. I knew I was stupid, nigga. My conscience, nigga, my heart, not even my heart, my conscience in the back of my head, like, nigga, you stupid. But my heart, my mind, like, nigga, stand up. You better stand the fuck up. You ain't been in this truth for nothing. That's right. You better stand up, nigga. You better have faith. And my uh, my other brother telling me I'm through. We through. You know what I told him? Shut up. We not. Have faith. That's what I said, bro. And through that, he brought niggas through it. He brought brothers through it, bro. That's a lot. He brought brothers through it. So, right. nigga, I, so, brother, I believe. I am a man of the Lord, bro. I believe that, bro. I believe that, man. It ain't nothing else going to allow me to stray from it. Not no weed smoke. Not no nigga talking crazy. Not none of that, bro. Ain't nothing going to allow me to stray from it, bro. And even what I go through even more allowed me to realize I am a man of the Lord, bro. So, hey, man. Hey, man, I don't care what brothers think of me outside of this, outside of this camp, bro. And I, I got to a point to where... Words ain't gonna hurt me, and it's not gonna bring me to an emotion state. Words is not gonna bring me to an emotion state, bro. Put your hands on. That's all I can say. Words ain't gonna bring me to an emotion state at all until a nigga put his hands on. That's all I can say, man. Because you know what? I believe in the higher power, 
that you can't see and I can't see. That's all that matter to me. Faith is, what, what do you say? Faith is uh, the things that's not seen, bro. God, bro. So, hey, you definitely ain't gonna believe what I believe. So therefore, when you talk shit, what, 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 why I gotta put my hands on? You can't see what I see. You ain't gonna believe what I see. But put your hands on me or put your hands on one of these brothers around here around me, bro. You're fucking done. Done. It's the book of Hebrews, chapter 11, and verse 1. Now, now faith is the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen. That's right, bro. So if you talking shit, bro, I don't give a damn you talking shit. And hey, don't call us no niggas. I'm going to give you that one point right there and there, bro. Give <laughs> that right there and there. Bro, don't say that. Anything else you can say. And I don't give a fuck what you say, bro, because why? I wasn't raised off you. I, I, the Lord brought me in truth not to be triggered off emotion. Why, blank period. Why? Because we are alpha males. Right. We're not triggered off. And today, now and today, these these men are what? Triggered off what? Words. The words are triggered off what? Emotion. The words are triggered off emotion. Right? So why you think DJ, oh, he said this, you ain't gonna get him. We ain't gonna get him. No. No. It ain't he taking quiet to have their own no pain. This is the wicked world we live in. Right. But tell Jay, come over here and put his hands on him. Right. Say, hold him the story. Right. So hold him quick. And most of the time, man, those men that are saying shit, yo, they are destined for death, man. Right. You yeah. know? You know? Yeah. They're destined for death. Esau got something to say. He's definitely destined for death. These other nations, they destined for death. Two thirds, Jake, they destined for death. Now, the the camp ain't gonna come against each other because we are like minded men. Right. Right. You know. Right, bro. You know? Right. That's right, man. We're not. We're, hey, hey, man. We're hey. These brothers raised. These brothers in the same position. Not. Not the same. These brothers have the same spirit as Jake, bro. We're not gonna feed off your words, bro. Right. A man is entitled to say anything he wants, bro. Anything. That's why he has a what? A fucking mouth. Right. That's why he has a fucking mouth. But true man of the Lord has a what? A true mind. Where's that mind at? Brain, bro. True mind of what? Where's the knowledge and understanding, bro? So we understand, like, bro, you can say what you want. Just don't come up here and put your hands on us. And then, and then if you come stupid and try to walk up and do something, hey, it's up and field, man. It's up and field, man. It's up and field, it's up and field, bro. It's Ecclesiasticus 22 and 13. Talk not much with a fool and go not to him that had no understanding. Beware of him lest thou have trouble and thou shalt never be devoured with his fooleries. And, that, and that's dealing with these niggas that talk shit. Yeah. That's why you, that's why, hey, that's why a lot of these camps get into a bunch of bullshit. Because they deal with the mouth of a, of a fool. Yeah. They deal with the mouth of a fool, bro. Yeah. I'm not about to deal with you, bro. I'm not about to deal with you. You can say whatever the hell you want, bro. I, I man, really, I done, had, I done had Esau come up to the camp and call us niggas. And we ain't jump. But you know what I told him? You lucky I'm a man of the Lord, because if I wasn't, I embarrass you. I embarrass you. I embarrass you. I embarrass you, bro. I embarrass you. I embarrass you. Bro. I embarrass you. But you know what? Jay cool, man. Jay cool. And Jay gonna push this word, man. We gonna push the word of the Lord. Right. All day, every day, man. Push the word of the Lord all day, every day, man. Ain't no stopping. Till our casket drop. And Lord That's willing, right. <laughs> that casket don't drop. Right. Make it all the way through. Even though we ready for that bitch to drop now. Nah. Nah. But we ain't. Because we want to see salvation. That's right. You know what I mean? want to see salvation. You know what I mean?
Right. In John 316. Uh, he come to save the world. That's a lot. Hey, y'all don't know. Y'all don't know the the y'all don't even know the deepness behind it, bro. That's right. That's right. Because why? Every word in the Bible has a strongs and a number next to it. That's right. Every word in the Bible has a strongs and a, a number and a strongs next to it. So what does that mean? It doesn't really mean what it says. Right. So what does that mean? You got to what? What did the Lord say? Search me. Uh, uh, he, he searched the scriptures. Roughly paraphrase, and you will find me, bro. Uh -huh. So therefore, you have to search the scriptures, bro. And you have to understand what? That the scriptures is not taken on by what? English, bro. Right. It's not taken on by English, bro. It's not, bro. English is done. It's just something we speak, and it's a whole witchcraft language. Uh, it's a whole witchcraft language, bro. Uh, That's why when we come together, we speak as much Hebrew as we can. Yeah, we still speak English. Oh, what would y'all want? Right. Don't y'all speak English? Right. Yeah, you speak English. So, what, 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 what that makes you? American, right? right. No. Right. Yeah. Dumbass, no. Everybody that step foot on this land has a lead somewhere. That's right. Even Esau. Even right. even the Thainos that was here first. They have a lead that lived somewhere else, bro. Yeah. So-called white people are finished, man. Yeah. Well, that's that's right. right. So so let's take so let's take a a a a, 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 a Chinese man, you know? So just because that, that, that Chinese man or woman was born here, does that make them not Chinese? No. They're still Chinese. They just live here in America. Now, where's their homeland? Way overseas. You know? What, what are we? We are Israelites. We were brought here by what? The Atlantic slave trade. But where are we from? Israel. You know? Now, how y'all don't understand that? Yeah, I don't know. Stupid. <laughs> Stupid. Stupid. Don't know. What time is it, man? How, how long it been on, Jay? Hour 16. Hour 16. I got a few I got a few This is Proverbs 21 and 23. You know? It says, Whoso keepeth his mouth and his tongue keepeth his soul from trouble. And I read that because although you can come up and you can ask questions, man, you got to be careful what you say against the prophet, against the men of the Lord, man. Sure. You know, because you can be judged just based upon one thing you said, man. Sure. You know? right. Especially when dealing with the Lord's men. Uh, think back to the account with Miriam. You know, she, she made a joke about Moses, man. And the Lord struck her with a clean leprosy, man. Uh, Immediately. Yeah. You know, laughing and mocking. Yeah. Thought it was a joke. The Lord showed you, all right, it's a joke, all right. And this is this is let you know, so like, this is let you know leprosy is so real. Moses and Aaron prayed it off of them. Right. Uh -huh. They begged. Uh -huh. Right. Yeah. <laughs> so you so called white people are finished. That's right. Uh -huh. <laughs> That's right. Oh, finished, man. Right. Oh, finished. Oh, shit. If this man prayed and begged to the Lord to take it off his sister, what, what, what mercy y'all got? <laughs> Fucking crazy, bro. Fucking insane. But y'all walk around, hey. Y'all walk around this earth like y'all the truth. Fuck out of here. No, I was just going to tag in with what the brother was saying about how they, people got to watch what they say, you know, to the prophets because just for another uh, account that happened in the Bible, um, when I think it was either Elisha, Elisha. how he was bald head and the kids uh, was t I was like like forty two something kids. I don't know exact but it was kids talking about him because he got a bald head and how about Shmuel you know, Shah had two bears come out from the uh, woods and kill all of them. Yeah. You know what I yeah. mean? Yeah. Children. Yeah. Children. Hey, hey, I even want my woman how she talk to Jake. Yeah. My camp. Yeah. And, and my son, bro. I tell him, bro, go ahead and say what you gonna say. The Lord gonna deal with you. Lord won't deal with you, man. That's right. Lord won't deal with you, bro. 
think you think Jay you think Jay Paul the problem? Okay. Right. You think I've been going through all this trauma's irritation? <laughs> all this bullshit for years? And think Jake? Think Jake ain't nothing? Okay, go ahead. That's what's up. And, and I still keep the wheel. Kind. Okay. I may not push my video like I should, but hey, man. Man, I'm in a different mind state, man. But I'm going to make sure my camp do it. Kind. Uh, make sure my camp do it. And I'm going to make sure they is right, bro. And I'm going to get myself right, man. I'm in a different state right now, man. I, I don't even, I, bro. I'm just tired, bro. I'm tired of this world, bro. And even though my tiredness has got me to suffering, bro, it, it's still no excuse. Bro. Still no excuse. Still no excuse, bro. Well, my mindset is different right now, man. Very different, man. And it's to the point to where, like, man, Jake and I. Go ahead, man. I got two cents. It's a lot. Okay. Yeah, sure. right. With that, we're going to end it, man. Call all your howl by Shimmy Howl Shah by Shimmy Crocodiles. Why not the ball? Death to America.